Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to FTB Skies, a brand new Skyblock mod pack from Feed the Beast. There's going to be plenty of exploration and automation taking place in this pack, so without any further ado, let's get started. More about the pack will be revealed as soon as we start playing, but for now, when you create a brand new world, you get put into this amazing lobby right here. I mean, look at this airship. If we just take a look at the map, yeah, that's pretty cool, and apparently there's a floating village right up there as well. But when it comes to actually playing the pack, this place, we, we can't really interact with it. I mean, we can right-click a few things, like the note blocks, if we wish to uh, play some music, but that is about it. What we need to do is head into this portal, and as you can see, we have some start items here, but we'll get into that as soon as we head through, because now we need to select our starter island, or basically our island, and we have a couple of, t couple of uh, options here. So we have the FTB Sky Island the anti-sky island, the minimalist sky island, which is very recognizable, the old classic uh, sky block island right there, chosen sky island from, by chosen architect, looks really, really awesome, and the compact sky island. I'm going to be picking this one. I think it looks amazing, and I'm just gonna press create here, and we're going to be very soon on our brand new island, or fall into the void. Nope, okay, here's our island, there we go. And look at this place. And shaders are included with the pack, by the way. By the way, this mod pack is not yet released to the public, but as soon as it is, I will let you know. But this is our island. We have a floating village over there, it seems like, from our map and also visuals. So we have to take a look at that very soon. But we have a quest book, we have bone meal, we have five apples to get us started, and some saplings, which I'm going to right away be planting because I do not want to take down these awesome looking trees. I mean, they look really, really cool. I think it would be very sad to chop them down. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to grow one of these trees and I'm going to really quickly actually head into options and see if we have... No, we do not have vein miner, it seems. Wait, we have Ultimine. We have Ultimine. All right, so if I just go into here, search for tab, list players and yes, this should be fine so that I can now hold down tab and break the entire tree. Would you look at that? And it insta breaks. I mean, look at that. That is perfect right there. What did we get? Black currant, light meal, not eaten yet. What does it taste like? I'm just, I guess we'll be learning more about that in this here quest book. Let's take a look. Welcome to FTB Skies. The new Skyblock pack for 1.19.2 that will continue on into future versions of Minecraft. These quests are entirely optional, but will help guide you through your adventures in our Skyblock world. The far left of the quest book has the chapter list. We will take a look at that in just a moment. Most resource acquisition can be found throughout JEI, but the quest book will assist you in reaching the other dimensions and launching your rocket to the stars above. From the FTB team, we hope you enjoy the journey ahead. We most certainly will. Let's take those rewards and over here, we have all of this stuff right here. We have a bunch of stuff to go through. And we could actually see some of the mods that we have right here. We have Mechanism, RF Tools, we got Tetra, we got Create, Thermal Expansion, and this right here, Reach the Scars, Tier f uh, scars? Skies, Tier 4 Rocket. A lot of stuff here, but we gotta, we gotta start somewhere. And that, of course, is in the Getting Started tab, which is exactly what we're going to do. But first, there are a few things that we need to go through. First off, we have Loot Bees. Uh, you may occasionally run into a Loot Bee that spawns around your island. They'll give you gifts if you stay nearby. Basically, if you have played Stone Block 3, you will know that you will know exactly how these work. However, they may fly off and be... <laughs> no, I see what you did there. Lost forever, you can use a lead to keep them in place. Uh, so they, they can drop us random loot, so that is really cool. We need to observe one for in order for that to get checked. I'm pretty sure anyway, unless there's... No, that doesn't happen. Anything, nothing happens when I click that. Uh, we also have events. Some events are more useful than others. One event might be that you just get a random stick with a fun little nonsense uh, 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 text. But there's also some, like the FTP Skies Amethyst event, are integral to progression. So be aware, you can toggle uh, the events on and off. But we get that, we'll take a look more at that once we actually get them. Then of course, starting your island, we already did that. There's some information here if you play with a friend, aka in multiplayer, so you can read that if that is relevant. And less surrender means no lag. So FTB Skies comes with, or less lag. FTB Skies comes with Oculus, a mod which allows you to use shaders and complementary reimagine. So that is really cool. 
as well. Uh, I don't see any loot bees, so we will just have to wait and see when that shows up. So, this is our starter pack right here, or the starter quest line that we have right here. And as we, as we can see, we actually have three starting points. We have the wood, we have the string, the string you along, and then we have cobbled together. And all of these lead to the sifter. And this is how we are going to be getting a bunch of our resources. Sifters will allow you to run materials such as gravel, sand, and dust through meshes to find materials. A hand crank produces enough stress capacity for eight sifters. So that's going to be automation through that. And immediately we kind of get thrown into create here. But first, I'm going to be growing another tree and I'm going to be chopping down another tree. And this is going to be very cool because then I'm going to go ahead and turn all this into logs. I'm going to make a crafting table. And I think I'm actually just going to make a few sticks for now. Because what we need to do, if we take a look at the quest here, if we go into couple together, we can see that we can actually get these rocks. And it says sneak right click grass or dirt to collect rocks. So all we need to do is hold down shift and we can right click. And we're going to get two, I believe, two different uh, types of rocks here. We're going to get the white ones here and we're going to get these clumps of soil. So the rocks, we can combine them like so. And we get cobblestone just like that. Clump of soil gets turned into dirt basically. So we can just stand here and right click this. I can butterfly, butterfly click my mouse here very intensely. And we can get a bunch of rocks just like that. Cobbled together. Boom. Get some extra dirt. Maybe we need it. Definitely gonna take that sapling because you never know. Skyblock, don't lose your saplings. Okay, that's just a, a rule of thumb right there. So we can actually go ahead and make ourselves some cobblestone tools. I'm just gonna make an axe and maybe a shovel as well. An axe, pickaxe, and a shovel. How about that? I think that is pretty good. So we actually already completed this. We're gonna get a cobblestone and we're also gonna get a pet rock. The next thing. It's going to be, well, I guess we should probably get enough logs. So for that, I guess what? I'm going to need another tree. Oh, and this is a big one. All right, and I should probably use my axe just to make this a little bit easier. And it would also help if I kept my logs because then the quest would actually... Uh, <laughs> it would actually keep, uh, keep pr progressing instead of me breaking all the logs. And come on, I'm, I'm one off. I'm one off, come on, get... Okay, that's a big one, right. Probably not gonna be needing more wood anytime soon. We're getting a bunch of different berries. Oh wow, look at all that. Wow, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna place a bunch of these saplings back here. I think that's gonna be fine. All right, so that's that quest completed. We get a golden apple and some oak leaves. Leaves can be run through a sifter to give a higher chance per block of obtaining saplings. That's good to know. We can also go ahead and make a composter. Uh, dancing around your trees doesn't seem to encourage growth, contrary to all standard botanical knowledge. <laughs> Luckily, there are plenty full of sources for bone meal. Either make some in a composter or sift it from dust. So we should probably make a composter as well at some point, because sounds like bone meal is going to be pretty important. Um, but we also need to make a hammer and a few other things. I don't want to go ahead and go through this like I'm on the highway. Uh, but let's go ahead and convert this. I suppose let's make a composter. Let's make a composter. I think that's uh, good enough for now. Let's make a quick composter just so we can knock that uh, quest away and actually get a bunch of this stuff. Hold up. I did not realize we would get all of that stuff right there. Right. Uh, let's make a quick chest just so that I can get my bearings here with what is actually happening. Let's empty all of this away. We should have stonium now. Uh, mine stonium ore? Where did that get triggered? Or, oh, it's an achievement. Never mind. Uh, it's getting nighttime, but I think we'll be alright. Otherwise, we do have an axe on us. So, let, let's see here. Bone meal, gilded barrel, item transporter, wooden hopper, and a mushroom barrel. So, I'm not sure if these things are... I guess this is just a normal barrel. And also just a normal barrel. All right. And then a wooden hopper. Item transporter. It's not something that I can actually click anywhere. Maybe it's something that I add to. Yes, it's something that I add to. So I assume I place a hopper. Okay, I think I got this. I think I might know how this works. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to be butchering this. But let's see if I can figure it out. So if I go ahead and take... Didn't I just make a composter? Oh, yes. I place it over here. 
<laughs> I'm definitely not a professional. Right, let's place this in there, like so. And I think I can put this here, put this here, then... No, that's definitely not how that works. I think I exit... Nope, this wooden hopper picked it up. Good. <laughs> I'm not sure how this works. Um... I mean, I can click on it and there's blacklist and whitelist and whatnot. Oh! Oh, okay. And so if I just go ahead and said, I don't know, leaves. I don't want the leaves. That works. But I would also assume that this works, right? Let's test with the other 16 leaves. That also works. So I'm actually going to take this off. Because I would want to keep that for something else, I think. Uh, of course, we could make an output. I wonder, actually. This is just like me experimenting a little bit here. Because I don't know how these item transporters work. But if I place one... Can I not place one on this thing? Apparently, I can't. I was, I was thinking I could make an output that then goes into this barrel. But that's fine. That's fine. I can always add another hopper. And then add uh, the... Fa the Less barrel right there. But let us now continue on. Man, this guy is actually pretty beautiful with the shaders and whatnot. Right. We need to get some string. And to get string, we can it can either be harvested from flax or found on your island. Bone meal will allow the flax to grow much faster. So if I just go ahead and take a little bit of bone meal. A little bit, I mean apparently a third of the stack. And this right here is our flax. So I can just right click this. Keep right clicking this and it'll grow and replant the same plant. I can just use all this bone meal, break all these and replant them. Definitely want to set up more of this uh, setup right here. But that is 15 flax and all we need to do is pop them in there and get the string. And so with this, is that a tadpole? That's a tadpole. We're going to have frogs. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Alright, uh, right. So, with the string, we are now ready to proceed. We get some extra bone meal. Not sure what the straw is used for. Uh, organic compost, rope, a bunch of other stuff, actually. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's gonna go in there for now. And now everything is slowly moving towards the sifter. So we need to make the string mesh in order to use the sifter. And then we need to, of course, make the sifter and a hand crank but then we still need to do the hammers. But let's go ahead and work on the sifter setup before we do that. So the string mesh is just like this. I'm gonna grab all of this and we can just do this and boom, that is that completed. And we get another wooden hopper and some more cooked chicken uh, cuts. So that is awesome. We made the mesh, now we need to make the sifter and the hand crank. So we need a bunch of planks, we need a uh, wooden button, we need some cobblestone, we also need some normal stone. So we can set that up to cook while we are gonna go ahead and... Nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to do that. While we're going to be working on the hammer. Because hammers can crush blocks into finer blocks. So we can crush cobblestone into gravel. Uh, gravel into sand. And then sand into dust. So if we go ahead and make some stone rods. And then do this recipe right here. We get a stone hammer. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and get some more pebbles here just to get some more cobblestone to play around with. So if we place down a cobblestone, we can break it into gravel and it actually shows it right there above the hotbar. Turn it into sand, turn it into dust. And I don't know if we can, no, dust is the final tier that we can do. So that's pretty cool, we complete this and we get a cockwheel and we get some more cobblestone. We also get 16 dust, 16 gravel and 16 sand. Now we can go ahead and use JEI to take a look at what we get here, which I'm actually gonna do. So usages, and then we can click all the way over until we get to sifting recipe. So from gravel, uh, using an anthracite mesh, uh, amethyst mesh, man of steel mesh. So we, we can make different meshes, and anthracite looks like it is something that we might want to get as soon as possible. String mesh is just going to give us iron nugget, which is not going to be very good. We want to upgrade to anthracite as soon as possible, because that means we can get a chance of getting all of these items right here which is going to be really cool. But that's just gravel. If we take a look at sand, we can click over to sifting. Again, it starts at amethyst, it seems. Oh, and side as well. So different filters gives us, well, some of the same things, but also some allows us to get new things. Like this one, we get the prismarine stuff. 
uh, using the amethyst, but not the andesite. And yeah, different things in total. Like this one, we can get sugarcane, cocoa bean, cactus, but we can't get that with this with the normal string mesh. That just gives us cocoa bean and sugarcane. You get the idea. Uh, the dust as well. And the side, these things right here, redstone and such. While it being just normal string, that's bone meal, gunpowder, and appetite. So we definitely want to upgrade those as soon as we can. But since our stone is now ready, we're going to go ahead and make a stone button. We're also going to grab our planks, going to craft a wooden button so we can make our hand crank like this. And then we're going to be making our sifter right after making a wooden gear, right after making another stone button, and then getting some sticks, I think it was, right? Wooden gear, sticks, yep, just like that. And then sifter, catching. Quest is completed and we get actually four more sifters and some more hoppers with this so that is really cool i want to see though um i don't remember what they're called they are from create and i will be able to recognize them very very easily at least i hope so anyway yes uh funnel funnels okay and inside funnels are actually fairly easy to get as soon as we get some kelp that means we can actually automate this so that's awesome but now that we have sifters let's go ahead and set that up for a test run i'm just going to place one sifter and then we're going to right click our mesh i don't know how we can yes so hold down shift to remove the mesh if we want to upgrade it then we can place a cogwheel like so we can place our hand crank on top of it and that runs the machine and so all we need to do is take let's say some dust throw it in there it is now in the machine and we can actually see that up here and then we can do this and it runs a little bit of an animation and then wait we, we, we got nothing from that <laughs> let's make sure that we can actually get something using the string mesh with this so 20 percent chance of bone meal let's uh let's put let's put 16 gravel in there and i think it'll process one at a time here yep so that's one that's two that's three. <laughs> That's four. Uh, let's take a quick look at gravel. What are the chances of getting a an iron nugget essentially? Because that is really what we need to upgrade the mesh to an anthracite mesh. So let's see. 40% chance. Okay, so we should be getting some iron nuggets at some point. Uh, oh, it has three iron nuggets inside of it. So maybe I need to... I don't know if I can hover out of it. Let's just run through these 16 real quick. One thing to note as well is you do lose hunger doing this. So as soon as we can set up some, um, oh, those were some fancy particles. As soon as we can set up a create system like water wheels or something, which should be fairly easy as soon as we can get some iron and buckets to run this. We could automate this pretty, pretty easily, especially with funnels that drop the items into this place. But there we go. And I just right click it to get the uh, output. So we now have seven iron nuggets, and that is this thing right here completed. And we get two andesite alloy, some fish stew, and andesite. We need to use those alloy very carefully. But already it is kind of moving towards water wheels and also upgrading the andesite mesh. With the improved andesite mesh, you are able to collect more uh, varied resources from the sifter. So, yes, so that is just the andesite alloy right there. And of course, water wheels for making this thing run automatically. But before we could what was that oh the frog is up <laughs> hello frog right if we go ahead and pick this up because we actually have five sifters and if i just go ahead and for example well actually it's not going to be it's not going to be optimal to set it up in a row right now since we don't have any way of fully automating this as of right now so i'm going to make another chest just like this. I'm going to put some of this stuff away. I'm going to keep the andesite. I'm going to keep the cogwheel. These. Just going to organize the inventory a tiny, tiny bit. I might need the food. Right. Good. So I think actually getting this going as soon as possible is going to be the most ideal. So as soon as we make one water wheel, we're going to be getting three, some shafts, and some hog linears. I mean, don't knock it till you try it, but I'm not excited to try and eat that. Anyway, <laughs> let's set up a water wheel here. So that is going to be some wooden slabs and a large cock wheel. That is just a tiny cock wheel. And I don't want to use that, though. I don't want to use that. I want to be very, very careful. 
Uh, can I make a shaft? I can make a shaft. But can I then? I need to be very, very smart about this because I only have two andesite alloy. Okay, so I do have andesite and I do have nugget. So actually, I can solve my own question very easily if I just go ahead and do this. Boom, more andesite alloy. So I can go ahead and make some shafts. And then I can, yeah, make the large cog wheel just like this. And then I'm just going to be needing some planks or slabs, I should say. Boop, 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 boop. Good enough. Just need to make the one. Like I said before, because then we're going to get access to three more and more shafts and hmm, is You nom nom, not nom. Right. My question is, can I place this in here straight away? Let's find out. Yeah, it needs an actual current, like a water flow to actually run. And that's going to be interesting on how we're going to set that up. Uh, so let's see. Water wheels produce rotational force from flowing water. Tip, you can also place water wheels horizontally and let water flow around them. This can be very easy and efficient method to power many sifters at once. Okay, I did not know you could do it sideways. Well, let's do it sideways then. I'm going to chop this down. And, okay, doing shift or, uh, wait, barrel. Hey, eh? Where does this come from? I did not see this before. Where does this, where does this come from? Uh, angel block. Iron wand. I mean, I like construction wands. Charm of levitation. Applies levitation when active and in the inventory. Source levitation, one minute and 30 seconds. Okay. The endless sky. Well, does that mean apply levitation when active and in the inventory? I don't know if it's active. Oh, now it's active. Oh, okay. Uh, that could be useful if we drop into the void. I don't know what happens if you fall into the void. Um, if you guys want want to watch me try and do that in the next episode, do let me know down below in the comments, please. And that might be something that I try and do. <clears throat> Emphasis on might. We also have the endless sky. Welcome to FTP Skies. You've found a secret stash and now my treasures are yours along with this haiku. Above the world's strife, living in the vast blue sky, freedom's endless life. I'm not good at riddles or anything like that, so if that has a deeper meaning, again, let me know down below in the comments, please. Don't know what this angel block does. Again, if you know anything, please let me know down below in the comments. Any knowledge that you may have, please provide it down below in the comments. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated and also a great help. So, let us try and do this water wheel thing. So, it is. It said I could place it horizontally. Ah, like so. So, if I did that, it is a 3x3 three three area. So, I would need to probably dig out this area ish. So if I try and do that, right? Uh, question is actually if the water wheel will turn the right way if I do it like this. No, the water needs to come from that direction. Um, so maybe I need to set it up over there by the campfire, because I don't know if this has an effect on the, on like the rotation. But let us try, and I'm gonna dig this up, some of this anyway, and let's try and place down two. It might be overkill, complete overkill, but let's find out. I'm going to place two of these, so they are turning, actually. It is going against those. Um, don't know, again, if it has an effect. It probably has. But I think we should be all right, for now, anyway. It is just a temporary setup. What I need to make now is, I believe, a gearbox, if possible. Clutch. I don't need a clutch. I would love a gearbox. Do we have gearboxes? We do have gearboxes indeed. So that is something that I need to... Oh, okay, those are big trees. I need to make a gearbox. A simple gearbox. Uh, which requires inside ca casing and this. Uh, manual item. So I can just take a log. Chop this up. And inside alloy. Do this and then get some cogwheels. One, nope, need more than that. <laughs> Please, one, two, three, four. Then 
boop, 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 and inside casing, that's a gearbox. I should be able to get it. Uh, question is if I can make the wrench from create. Or, mm, that would not do the trick. Come on. You can do this. No, apparently you cannot do this. Got it. Yeah, making the wrench is going to be a little bit difficult. Um, not sure how I'm going to connect the sifters if I can't. Oh, wait a minute. I know how. I'm just dumb. <laughs> just put this in here and it's vertical. And so it is now powered. I think we can go ahead and... Oh dear. Looks like this is broken. Yeah, that needs to ideally flow all the way over like that. And then get rid of this. So we have water source both on the bottom and the top. I don't know if two is like too much for this. We're going to find out. It might be overkill, complete overkill. I'm then going to place our sifters right here, five of them to be specific. And then I can place a cogwheel right here. Then I can make a shaft go over here. Might need another gear going up, up and down. I just want to make sure I'm not making this more complicated than it has to be. Which I probably am. Alright, so I think this should work. Uh, it appears that this contraption is overstressed. Add more sources or slow down the components with a high stress uh, impact. So I really do need a better setup for this. Hey frog. Um, yeah, I need a better way of doing this. Either that or making it deeper, which I don't think is ideal either. Could also be that we have too many sifters. Yes, there we go. So if I just remove the one and run four, this setup is going to work just fine. So I am going to go ahead and make a few more string meshes because we do have the string for it and also should have the wood. Yeah, definitely do have the wood for it as well. So let's just make all this into that. Go ahead and do this. Uh, so, uh, so mesh, 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 mesh. Go ahead and get three more of those and we will be upgrading them to andesite very, very soon. In fact, one of them is going to be an andesite mesh. Uh, actually, these are just going to be the automated ones. I'm going to make a different setup over here for the andesite mesh with a hand crank with a cogwheel. Let's get a cogwheel. Uh, excuse me, I, should have, I don't have planks because I used them all. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Get a cogwheel, just like so, and then a hand crank. Good. So this is the andesite one. Hey, Froggy. Uh, I might call you Froggy. I, I, I kind of like that name. Anyway, yeah, yeah, you like that name? Good, because you're going to be sticking with it. I'm uh, going to put sand into this, and I'm going to put dust into this, and I could go ahead and get a bunch of cobblestone for the other one, but I want to go ahead and use gravel. Uh, here, so I can just go ahead and use this could use the builder one for this as well if I wanted to but what I can do here and then Use also mine And then do it like this and you know what why on earth would I do it manually if I can just do this and do this? <laughs> why would I do this manually when I can do that? That doesn't make any sense. So let's put that away eat an apple and then we're all of a sudden getting a bunch of stuff. So we're getting coal, we're getting iron, tin, copper, all that good stuff. Uh, so, which means I can make be making more andesite alloy very, very soon. Because the more andesite alloy we get, the better. We also have a bucket now. Ooh, so I can improve this. I can instantly re improve this. So if I go ahead and do this. I guess this is an infinite water source. I don't know, can I take it from here? Yes. So I can just add water to the bottom of this, just so it's neat. Actually, I shouldn't do that because that is going to make it not run. So I'm going to leave it at that. We can set up more stuff in the future. But look at all that. We already have a diamond. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get a barrel. And in fact, I'm going to be making more barrels. Do I have more slabs? I do not, apparently. What on earth did I use all my slabs for? Ah, yes, large cock wheels. Uh, I'm gonna make a few barrels. In fact, I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, I think. 
One for each, and I should have enough wooden harpers in order to output two of these. I hope, anyway. So if I do something like this and this, no, that's not gonna work. Put the dirt back. If I play, no, if I place these the right way up, just so it looks neat, and then come back here, go ahead and place the harpers. Like so, I think the outputs are slowly. Yep, they are slowly being put into the uh, into the barrels here. Look at that. That is really really awesome. Specifically the iron. I'm very happy about that because that means I can set this to cook just like that, and we get some more food. Awesome. And the reason why I want to do this is because I want to make some more anti-side alloys so I can upgrade all the meshes to that, and we get an achievement: acquire hardware. Uh, balance sifting sifters that are waterlogged. Oh, so we have different ways of sifting things. Okay, sifters that are waterlogged sometimes produce at alternative resources. Hint, to waterlock a sifter, you must place it into a block of water. So that means we can get clay and salt. Redstone dust. Redstone is your gateway into energy production and management. After you get some, look into some of the more power generation mods, such as cyclic, thermal expansion, and mechanism. And a CD place. Sifting dirt has a chance of producing pasture seeds, which can turn dirt into grass. Using bone meal on grass can grow a variety of flower seeds and roots. The gold nag gives a, given as a reward can make delightful dirt, which makes pasture mobs spawn faster. So that could be very, very, very useful right there. But now the, the tech tree here, tech tree quest line is slowly leading us towards this. Milking fire, blazing the way forward. The squeezer squeezes fluids out of items. To do so, place an item inside and then repeatedly jump on it until it is done. This fluid is pushed into a tank on the other side of the squeezer. If it isn't drained, you can't squeeze another item. Reset the squeezer with a redstone signal. Notably, you can squeeze blaze powder into lava. So that is very cool. Uh, so with the squeezer, we can go ahead, I think... And press U here, and we can see what we can actually squeeze it into. Because obviously, if they tell us, hey, you could do this, then there must be a good reason to do so. So I'm kind of just looking through here to see if there's anything notably specific uh, that we might want to squeeze, such as maybe dirt into something, or gravel into sand, or something. So gravel right here can turn into flint. So it looks like if we manage to get ores, we can maybe duplicate, and we can also get lava. Like it says there, we could get gravel from blackstone. Um, other than that, cobblestone into gravel. Cobblestone into gravel. So that is very, very cool. So when we get that, we can move towards dragon glass. Dragon, dragon glass. I thought you have a source of lava, so we can get lava apparently. Getting lava by jumping on a squeezer seems kind of time consuming. Okay, well, let's get to this first. This requires a block of iron and iron ingots. So let us go ahead and make some andesite alloys first. Like so, four to be exact. And then with our sticks, go ahead and make more andesite meshes. Uh, in fact, we're going to be making three. Three brand new meshes for our setup over here. And... Now, I'm going to go ahead and do this, this, and this. Beautiful. Now, I might just actually make one big output chest, like over here. Making it making it all lead into that. That might be a better way of doing this. Just so that I have a better visualization of what on earth is going on. I'm going to chop down this tree now, because it is shadowing my, uh, my work a little bit. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. Wow, there's a lot of berries. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to be needing all these berries for, but I mean, they are food, right? Yeah, not eaten yet. So I think this might be just like Legends of the Eye, where we get maybe multiple more hearts as we eat more things. That could be cool. Uh, right, it's done. Yeah, I'm going to definitely make it all go into the same chest here. I think maybe this recipe is part... Yes, this recipe is part of the pack, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to rearrange all this stuff. So all the harpers are going to run into this. I'm not going to have inventory for all of this, I don't think. Diamonds! How many diamonds do we have? We have one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so if I just pick up these... Throw the chest for it... No, no. Give me the hoppers. Just like that. 
And that was apparently a quest. Right, that is not a thing. I need to organize this now. Something like that seems good. Yep. Now just the dirt patch this up. Good. I think that's going to be a lot better. So actually, we now have 15 raw iron. So if we put that into the furnace and go ahead and smelt that, then we should have enough to get a block of iron and then we can make the squeezer. Aha! I have just discovered this materi material generator. With access to lava, you can now craft and install a material generator in, in onto sorry, a pedestal. For further documentation of pedestals, click here to see its quest. The most immediate use will be placing a stone block under the material generator to provide an unlimited source of carful, carbon sorry, for you to sift for resources. And together with that, we can also make the mechanical squeezer. So if I search squeezer, yes, the mechanical squeezer, this I believe will require power. And it is also quite a bit of, uh, of a project to get all of these, but that could be uh, very good to get some mechanical squeezes because that means we could automate the process of getting, uh, well, li like it says, cobblestone. Because then if we can get the automation of cobblestone, we can automate the squeezing of it into gravel, which we can then automate into that. Hey, Froggy. But I think we have what we need now to make the actual uh, manual squeezer here. So there we go, we have made this and we have a basic fluid tank now. So I think the main purpose of this is to get ourselves some lava. So if I just go ahead and search for lava, and we go into here and into squeezer, we can squeeze blaze powder. Uh, and the way we get blaze powder is by sifting through andesite mesh dust. Dust through any of the meshes here of the three. So with an andesite mesh, blaze powder is a 10% Rob chance. So if I just uh, clear my inventory for a quick second here, I'm going to be needing dust. So I'm going to be needing quite a bit of stone. So I'm just gonna get a bunch of this. Actually, hold on. It did say uh, pedestal. Ooh. Pedestal. Uh, for, further, for the most, we'll be placing a stone block out of the material generator to provide material generator can increase speed. Right. So I need lava first. No matter what, but I think this is going to be our next like thing to do. Make a pedestal and then make it generate cobblestone. I think that should be our goal before we end today's episode. Auto automation of cobblestone is really going to boost our progression, I think. All right, in case you're interested in this, we can actually go ahead and take the iron wand if you want to use that. I'm going to make a three by three. And if you had a lot more, this would make it a lot more worth it, but you could just right click all of that to extend this pillar and then just mine it. Then ka -ching, get the gravel. I'm actually gonna take this again. We can always make more like this and then extend, cut, and there we go. And I'm pretty sure it was uh, dust, right? Right, How? Where, where is it? Squeezer, blaze powder, yes, dust. So I need to do this one more time. Let's maybe do it like that. It's gonna be a bit easier. Yeah, it just makes it a lot easier than having to click every single time uh, <laughs> to place a block. Now I'm just gonna need a bit more stone here to get what I need for a new hammer because uh, mine broke. Oops. And there we go. Got the dust. We can split that into fours like that. Eight, 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 eight. Did I say eight one too many times? But anyway, we can give the dust here. And hopefully, very, very soon, we're going to be getting some blaze powder. Until then, I got a quest completion for getting the sugar cane. Uh, there's also a progression tab here. Uh, okay. That's a lot. Right. We're going to stick with this for now. Uh, paper. Nice. Not this again. At least it's not... What's this? Fishing can net you all kinds of treasures, from food to enchanted books. Casting a reel into water over and over may be relaxing to some, but pure torture to others. <coughs> yes. To help you on your journey, we've included the handy dandy cyclic fishing net. Just insert your fishing rod and it'll handle the rest. The only problem is that it spits the loot over the entire water surface rather than collecting it into an inventory. An item collector would be very helpful. What happens if I just search item collector? Is it just a thing? Picks up nearby items. Flint block, huh? 
Well, that is very intriguing indeed. You shouldn't have. Right, we have some blaze powder here, and I think we also have enough to make a bucket for lava. So if I do this, put this away. So if I put one blaze, I can put one at a time in there. So I need to jump, 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 and away. And boom, so we just need three more, then we're going to have a full uh, bucket, but I'm going to be needing, oh, that's my slabs. I'm just gonna need some sort of redstone signal to reset it. So I can just do this, right click it, jump, 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 and jump. And this is why we wanna, as soon as we can, set up a, uh, a, power, star, a power thing for us to be doing this automatically so I don't have to jump every single time I wanna convert a cobblestone into gravel. Well, that's mainly for automation, but yeah, you get the point. There we go, hot stuff. We got lava. Now, as it says, getting lava by jumping on a squeezer seems kind of time consuming. Once you get a source of power, upgrade to the mechanical squeezer or log, log into some alternative lava automation options like the Magma Crucible or Drift Zones to permanently fill cauldrons. So, uh, if I wish, I can go ahead and I think it probably does have to be stone. But if I go ahead and place a lava bucket and then point at Drift Zones, I actually have just enough to make a cauldron. And I think I'm going to do that. If I just get a little bit more stone to make a little bit of a safe uh, place to set up some lava. I mean, I don't actually accidentally want to catch fire to a tree. So if we place a cauldron in the ground, then a space, then dripstone, then we need to have the cobblestone here. And then I think we can just do something like this. And it should work. Break this, then go down, break that, place coal, no, place cauldron in ground, like so. Place dripstone, like that. I think this is gonna work. Yes. That will eventually generate lava very, very slowly. And I think if I get more, I can extend it out like this. Add cauldrons, and I can just mine this block away add like this and I think that it should work oops uh, just from that one source as long as it flows out uh, that might actually be very interesting do I have more, more iron no yeah get, getting um, automated cobblestone is definitely going to be the way forward here because this is very very slow hmm to get started with the pedestals we need to make a linking tool and to do that we need a bookshelf um ooh loopy Hey, loot B. Hey, pal. Hey, buddy. Got any loot for me? I mean, get, getting getting a bookshelf would actually be really... Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, please, please come over to the island and not drop the loot in the void. That would be very, very kind of you. Do we have any more? Do we have any more? I would love to get a bookshelf. I would love to get a bookshelf because I don't actually have a bookshelf here. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. How's it going? And I can, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can go ahead, get a lead. And I can lead it, get over here. Gotcha. Okay, good. Hey pal, ooh, what, what did you give me? Mystical white flower, chance cube, not a chance. Literally not a chance. Gold ingot. That's cool, more flowers. Uh, I need a fence gate for you. Not a fence gate, a fence post. There we go, get this. I'm gonna put you right over here by the trees, I think, would be a nice place. Hey, pal. Eggs. I'll take the eggs. R what does that say? Press shift can be doubled with bone meal. Oh, right. Yeah, so now the looting effect is gone, but it's still there, and that's nice. We have another companion. We have Froggy, and we have B E. Ooh. Canvas can be made from straw and can be used to make a book. Yes. The straw does have a purpose. And I also do have a little bit of paper. Ooh, but I'm gonna need more paper. I'm gonna need a lot more paper. But I will be able to make enough canvas though to make three books for a bookshelf. Bone meal works on sugar cane. Bone meal works on sugar cane. We are saved. We can get a bookshelf easily. Easily, because now we have enough paper. Uh, if I could actually put it the right crafty, the crafting way. Do this. Three books. Wood like this. Boom. 
local librarian indeed. I'm gonna place this right here. Hold a shift stick. Okay, wait, let me read that again. <laughs> On a pedestal. Right, first craft a tool by holding any gem. Oh, any gem and any rod, uh, any gem. Do I have a gem? What qualifies as, as, is diamond a gem? I don't know. Yes, it is. That was very expensive, but I think it is going to be worth it because now I should be able to just be able to make the, the pedestal as long as I have actually enough uh, stone. All right, I can now make the pedestal just like that and it does not consume the linking tool. So that is very nice. I'm also going to keep this uh, gold ingot because next we need to make a material generator. We have the lava and the water. Uh, upgrade base, we need to use an upgrade tool and a gold ingot upgrade tool. We need to hold a gold ingot and a rod and another bookshelf. Uh, how do I get more straw? Harding wild rice. This should be wild rice over here if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep, that's wild rice. Um, I'm just not getting what I'm expecting to get. If I just bone meal this, I should be able to cut it and get straw as a 50% chance. Also need to smelt a little bit more gold. In fact, I'm going to take eight just to utilize the entire coal chunk there. And I need to get a cutting board. Which I'm pretty sure should be fairly easy. Yep, as long as I have enough planks for it. Cutting board, and then I need to make some sort of knife, which can be a flint knife, iron knife. You know what? For us, actually, iron knife might be the not be the easiest. Um, because apparently I don't have iron. Not gonna make a diamond. Let's make a gold would be a waste, but le let's make a gold knife. We're on the gold theme right here, so let's place this uh, right here. I think if I just place this, yes. However, at this rate, fifty percent chance. That's not. <laughs> that didn't happen to me. I would need twelve straw in order to do this, um, which is not something that I have. Question is, can I plant more rice? No. All right, I have cleared a little bit of an area here because I am going to try and set up the vanilla way of um, doing a gener a, um, a cobblestone generator. And I think this is the setup, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have water right there. This seems wrong. And lava. Okay, and then cobblestone. So I think I can move this over... No, because then the source would just be... Okay, so I can move this forward a little bit. I think... Yes, and I will need to go th have this down, otherwise the water is going to flow out. However, I want to be sitting right here. Not there, and I can just sit here. And get the cobblestone that way. That is going to be way faster <laughs> than getting the stone from the ground. Yeah. Much better. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just got this message. Villager, hey, this place is pretty nice. I think I'll stick around. A villager just spawned. Which I can give a job. Who has just taken a job from my cauldron. You better not have deleted any lava. <laughs> okay. Leather worker, apparently. Well, we can change that later, but... Okay. Having a local villager is going to be very annoying. But also quite cool. He, he's looking at what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm gonna do this until I have a stack. That's what I'm doing. All right, finally, I'm going to be grabbing a stick in my offhand, gold in the other, place down bookshelf, right cl <clears throat> Stick in my offhand, gold in this. Maybe it's the other side? Other way around? Yep, there we go. Other way around to get the upgrade tool. And now... We can use the upgrade tool together with the gold to get the upgrade base, and then we can combine these two to get the material generator. And then we can put it on this pedestal, and I think... Don't tell me it requires power. Alright, I finally figured it out. That was, in my head, a little bit complicated. So, 
Uh, if we just remove this right here, as you can see, we now have a pedestal with stone underneath it. Now, what I needed to do was if I can, if I break this real quick, let's start over. If I place a pedestal here, then put it in my offhand, this right here, the material generator, and right click it, it'll start producing cobblestone. Now, what I'm not sure about is how I then add the export upgrade, because I can't right click it on there, even if it's in my offhand. So I'm not sure how I set this to then output. I mean, I can always just punch it to get the cobblestone, but it would be nice if I could. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what I think I need. I think I know what I need to do. If I go ahead and add a barrel to this, add this here, add a pedestal here, add the export right here. I can use the linking tool, I think. I think. If a receiver pedestal position has been saved, sending to receiver. No, I think it needs to be the other other way around. Yes, yeah, so this is now sending cobblestone to this one, which is then being put into the barrel like so. And we can uh, go ahead and right click this to turn the visualizer off. So there we go. We actually now have cobblestone being generated automatically. That was a process, ladies and gentlemen, but now we are ready to then automate even further back and getting started here. We can set up in the next episode, hopefully automated sifting when it comes to gravel, because now that we have cobblestone, we should be able to automate gravel. If we put go into a recipe here, we can, of course, I've completely forgotten about this, but we can, of course, do milling. Milling it would just, we basically feed the miller cobblestone that then turns into gravel. So we can even set this up so that it drops into a hopper that then leads a bunch of millstones and we can add that to our system here. Millstone is fairly easy to make unless it requires, it looks like it just requires any sort of stone, which is good. So yeah, we should be able to set that up in the next episode. Maybe take a look at that village and of course, go ahead and explore more in this quest tree here. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. I do apologize for the length of it, but this is of course the startup. Look at that, we already have more than one stack, but of course we want to automate the process, like I said, so we can get plenty of this stuff right here. But like I said, guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode and I hope you are excited for this series. If you are, be sure to leave this series series <laughs> be sure to leave this video a like subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications so you don't miss episode number two but that's it for this one i really hope you have enjoyed and i hope to see you in the next one until then have a wonderful day and goodbye Stop.